So what we're going to go through is installing chipset drivers uh, on the system. It's got a Ryzen 3400G. And all we're going to do is we're going to type in AMD um, drivers. And we're going to click on this right here, AMD drivers and support. Now you could go through and uh, the chipsets here and find um, your CPU and all that, all that type of stuff. All we're going to do is click on download Windows drivers. We're going to just download it to our desktop here. So it's easy to delete after. We're going to let it run. I'll let it run here. Let it install. Now it's going to do is scan the system for anything that needs to be updated. That's all it's going to do. Anything that needs to be installed. And this is the same thing with Intel. I'll show you. I'll show you that site for Intel. It's the same for Intel. All you do is type in Intel drivers and you go to Intel drivers and software and you just hit get started and it has a it has basically the same uh, little utility that downloads. You can see it, AMD software. Install that. It's going to install all these different drivers and all this stuff here. Click install. And you want to do this whenever you first load the OS and everything, typically. Um, I thought I would run it just to see if it was an update or anything on here. I thought it would make a good video. But whenever you first install your operating system, if it's a clean install, you want to go through and do this. Make sure you have all your drivers. And now that it's all installed, it's going to ask you if you want to help improve, it's whatever, but send system information. And it's going to have you restart your system, and you're done. It's as easy as that. Alright. It's that simple. See you next time.